Big thanks to SP Legal Section for this opportunity, you know, in embarking on a trip to Dangote Refinery. It's a life experience that you don't just want to meet. So we're in the bus and we're listening to our coordinator, engineer Chukwe Miki, who spoke to us, you know, while we're embarking on the trip. Yeah, so um, normally Lagos thing will come into effect, right? Um, we had to spend a lot of time in traffic. Um, but before we left, we got food, so um, we had to eat. And then after eating, right, um, I was really tired, so I had to like sleep. Yes, I, I slept in the bus. Um, I wasn't the only one who was sleeping, right? But the friend of mine who was beside me, she was not sleeping, but the other guy slept still. So, um, yeah, yeah, he had to sleep. So yeah, um, on our trip to the refinery, we saw different apartments and one thing I noticed is the road is actually very, very good and not very good, still even under construction, you know, very close to the refinery and boom, here we are at the refinery, yeah, but we had to go through some series of security checks before we could even get a, gain access to the refinery, which is fine, I mean, we were properly screened and um, checked to be able to come in and then um, yeah we proceeded to the reception where they would take us in but as you can see um the first thing you get to see are these pipes and um they are fire emergency pipes you know just to contain any fire water water of, um in the refinery which is very fine um so we got to the office right and um the office setting was really really beautiful and we were shown um, the history of the refinery how it started where um, you know it started and you know the current state so um yes from there we moved in to um, go for sightseeing so we had to split ourselves to different groups so that it would be pretty much um, accessible for each and every one of us right and um, as you can see um, here are storage tanks for fuel for gas and for diesel which is um really gigantic trust me like there's a lot of resources put into this place there's a lot of um, um time energy brain work engineering architecture you know being put into this place and everything you get to like see on socials online it is real like dangote refinery is such an amazing one you know from the storage tanks um to the heavy machineries that you know are spotted here they are just the best and you know the biggest in the world ranging from alkylation um to you know hydrogen cracking and some other processes being carried out here it is really really overwhelming and trust me you know um here's where you're taking your crude and then it goes to your distillation chamber and you get you know after the processes you get your jet fuel you get your kerosene you get your gas and um, some other residues you know from the crude so it is really really an amazing one um trust me it's not even um built to feel the local standard it is really built um to feed the international a market standard so it is really sophisticated with um you know pretty much very brilliant engineers um getting to have the hands-on experience you know and um it's just really really um a, a gigantic um refinery i believe that um this will definitely serve um you know the needs of um, even not only Nigerians but the international um, market space, right? So I just leave you to um, you know see for yourself some of the um, departments, some of the equipment that they have here on ground. So you just enjoy the view. So we had photo sessions um, after side visits 
and then we're back to like the conference room to give a vote of thanks and to say a big thank you to um Dangote. and this was done by our coordinator I want to thank our, our first our guys and facilitator, and of course, Madam. Yeah. So, what do we say to them? Thank, thank you. you. They still served us food, you know, like the meal was really, really good. So thanks to Dangote once again and the whole entire Dangote refinery management.